My name's Danielle Connolly and I'm one of the textile conservators at National Museums Scotland. Preparations for exhibitions start many, many months in advance. The biggest challenge for Beyond the Little Black Dress was the volume of costume mounting required. We had 65 garments to measure and purchase mannequins for. Some of the garments we did not receive until the exhibition was being installed, so had to purchase mannequins before we had physically seen the garments. Luckily, with careful and considered measurements of each garment inside and out, we get a pretty accurate picture of the mannequin size required. A lot of people might think that you just pop a garment on a mannequin without any issues, but it rarely works out that way. There are so many things that need to be considered. To obtain the correct silhouette for an outfit, we may need to make underpinnings like petticoats to hold the shape of a skirt or slips to improve the hang of a sheer dress. We may need to pad out the chest and hips of a mannequin so that we get an accurate fit. In this instance, with the Dior dress, it is the pose that isn't correct and is causing too much tension on the skirt of the dress. So, the pose is crucial not only to the overall impact of the outfit on display, but to the support and care of the garments for the duration of the exhibition. Anything under tension may become damaged or distorted. For the long-term preservation of objects, we would keep handling to a bare minimum. However, with costume mounting, we may need to try an outfit on several times before we get to the final perfect fit. The mounting of accessories is one area that can be deceptively tricky. Trying to fit gloves and shoes onto a rigid form that doesn't bend or move like a real hand or foot can sometimes be impossible. We may need to make alterations to the mannequin like chopping off a heel or two. We may need to work through any mounting problems and design ways in which we can safely display objects. With the Richard Quinn outfit, textile conservator Miriam has had to design a method to safely display the crown on the mannequin's head without damaging the crown or the veil underneath, ensuring it isn't able to fall off or be taken off. At National Museum Scotland, the textile conservators carry out the costume mounting as well as the conservation of objects. This is quite advantageous as we see the object from the conservation labs through to mounting and finally going on display. We are then acutely aware of where weaknesses in a garment may be, so can adapt the mounting to take consideration of this.